So, <laughs> Michelle and Dave love banter. Yeah. 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 They're a very banterful uh-huh. couple. Yeah. They just spill it. <laughs> so when Dave came to me and asked me to be best man, you know, I thought it was a great honor. So then he started going through the, the list of duties I have to do. And <laughs> you like this one. <laughs> I thought it would be better off asking someone else. <laughs> they offered me 20 quid to do it. I said, no, 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 Dave. Look, I'm not a man who can be bored. They offered me 40 quid. Anyway, good afternoon, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. My name is Matt, and uh, I've got the privilege of being Dave's best man today. I've known Dave for a number of years, since uh, the start of secondary school, back when he was a bit naive, uh, socially a bit, bit different. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> with a dress sense. Uh, not much has changed, really. <laughs> Before I really begin today, I just want to say how smashing the prize makes look. <laughs> and it only rightly outshone by our bride, Michelle. <laughs> Credit must go to all the bridesmaids for curing Michelle's wedding day nerves, although a couple of bottles of wine this morning help things along. Yeah. So when, when Dave asked me to be best man, um, I felt a mixture of, of pride and panic. I thought, you know, I didn't, wasn't keen on standing in front of you all today and speaking. Um, so I thought, well, what can I talk about with Dave? And I asked around, and uh, people said to me, well, you know, just, just wait, for the, wait for the stag do. Because, you know, the stag is, is always drunk, he's always falling over the place, doing silly things. I'm still waiting. Dave <laughs> was quite possibly the most embarrassing stag in the history of stag dudes. He's more than happy wearing anything we gave him, whatever gender. Um, but even when it comes down to drinking a, a shot of Guinness in the in Hope of Ireland, Dave said no. Um, in fact, he actually got beaten in a drinking contest by a dear old lady named Mary. <laughs> <laughs> As most of you know, um, Dave lacks a bit of common sense and uh, general knowledge at times, and that, that roughly translates to his to his musical knowledge. Um, apart from his early days, through grunge phase, with his black spiky hair, and his, he, uh, he's listened to his Ministry of Sound 2004 album on repeat. In fact, today will be the first 